A dog with a choke chain embedded in its neck found near death, nursed back to health. The dog's name is Lucky, spelled L-A-K-I. His new owners named him that because they say he's lucky to be alive. Jen Benizza tonight with more about him and a bill aimed at preventing this type of animal cruelty. Jen. Dash, Jean Smale and her husband found Lockie at the end of their driveway. Their vet said they'd never seen a dog in such bad condition. But they refused to give up on him. One month and $4,000 in vet bills later, Lockie is looking much better. Lockie, Hawaiian for Lucky, was emaciated and near death when Jean and her husband found him. A rusted metal choke chain was embedded in his neck, clear to his spine. The Big Island Hawaiian Humane Society told Jean they could only put him to sleep. She refused to give up hope. Jean is a retired vet tech. She's taken in countless animals. She brought Lucky home and nursed him back to health. He has a Facebook page and a GoFundMe page that has helped pay for his $4,000 in vet bills. The outpour of love and care for this dog has just been wider than I ever could have even imagined. He's gained probably pretty close to 25 pounds. And he is so smart that it just amazes me that somebody didn't see his potential. I'm hoping that people will stop tethering dogs on metal chains and with metal choke chains. A bill before lawmakers would prohibit certain restraints and tethers. It includes fines and even jail time for anyone caught using them. At 6 p.m., I'll talk to Big Island Representative Cindy Evans about the bill she introduced. And you'll hear more about Lucky's story. Dash.